So, just walking to the other side of the island, plainly this is uh, actually been inhabited. Um, this area here has been used as a garden by probably the monks, lighthouse people um, that have lived here before. This is probably where they would have grown their fresh vegetables. And just to bear that out, you can see that there's some, um, some nice big clump of rhubarb. Uh, just about ready to go to sea now. And, but, you know, who'd have thought that we'd come over here onto this island and find a clump of rhubarb, um, which is obviously a source of food. Um, the other thing I'd like to show you around here is just the abundance of uh, nettles and thistles that are around. Here's a big bunch of nest, nest, uh, nettles and some uh, what looks to be hemlock. Yeah, very poisonous plant, mixing them together. But at the back here, there is also nettles. And as I've walked around the island, I've found lots and lots of nettles. Um, again, you probably wouldn't expect to find nettles uh, on the coast. But because of the amount of seabirds that are here, and because of the amount of, frankly, bird shit that is uh, everywhere, here's another big clump of nettles here. Um, nettles only grow on soil that's rich, rich with nitrogen, so you can usually tell uh, where humans have been. But in this case, it's probably more due to the fact that the soil is very nitrogen rich because of the, uh, the bird guano that's everywhere. So, of course, anybody who was living here would be able to harvest this at the right time of the year and then process this down into very, very good quality. So, just immediately, um, in the short time that we've been on here, we've seen a beach with... So, immediately, in just a short time we've been here, we've come across a beach with quite a lot of uh, driftwood on there that could be used for shelter building. We found a way to tie all that together using the cordage from uh, these nettles. And funny enough, I've just come across what appears to be a freshwater lock that was up at the top of the, the hill there. There was also, right at the very top of this hill, a couple of swamps with some rather stagnant looking water there. But the fact is, it's water, and with the right filtration method, you'll be able to uh, process that and get the water. So that's to a degree shelter on this, on this island. Uh, shelter really isn't a problem. There's lots of abandoned buildings, for example, like this one you might be able to use. Uh, there's all that driftwood that you might be able to build into some sort of lean-to in the first instance. Um, there's the cordage to make, you can make to hold it together. And I suspect there's lots of drift cordage uh, lying around the place uh, from abandoned fishing. Uh, from, from fishing. Um, more burdock. So we, we have some uh, rather rapid um, starches uh, where we can use to replace energy. Um, you can see this, uh, I think it's probably a herring gull, uh, just lying there. But look how close, look how close it's letting me get to it. You know, if I needed to, I could either capture that or I could stone it and kill it. Um, so it's there. And then, in terms of food, well, there's that coastline. 